All right, so uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, test some of this rain versus dry and see how much FPS we're losing or not losing um, with uh, rain versus dry. So I recently went on record of saying that we lose not more than 10%. And uh, let's see if that's true. And um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I, I already did this, but just showing you, uh, I'm going to turn off um, G Sync on my monitors, so G Sync is off uh, because with with G Sync on, it'll artificially cap my uh, my frame rate in the game, even if I in the game specify no cap. Um, I know this because I was testing that recently, like earlier today, and I couldn't figure out why it was always capped. And then I finally turned, even though I had non-capped in iRacing, I couldn't figure out why it was capped in iRacing. So, um, yeah, so G-Sync is off and, uh, let's go take a look at this. So I've got a car set up at Red Bull Ring. I've got heavy, very heavy rain. Uh, actually, let's do dry first. Let's do dry. <clears throat> so no rain. We'll go see what this is uncapped. And um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I was very confused initially because uh, when I would um, have G-Sync running, even though iRacing would say, it's not capped. It was still capped at my fr my frequency of my monitors, which is 240. So I didn't know why that was the case, but I figured it out eventually. Okay, so you're on a wet tire. <clears throat> I'm on a wet tire. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I'm getting uh, 280 frames per second. 280, yeah, low 280s, pretty consistently in the pit here. And uh, let's just take a look at the graphic settings. The graphic is I've got SSR off. I've got shader quality to ultra. I've got a few things turned to low. This is my normal kind of thing, but I do not have the frame rate capped. And uh, and I have run the uh, iRacing graphics reconfig, so it is showing that. Um, I've got reflex on enabled, not enabled boosted. Um, I could do both, but for now, that's what I run. And um, <clears throat> well, normally I have sharpening on, but I don't have it on right now. I'm not, I'm not going to change that right now. Okay, so the key thing is SSR is off, and uh, the shader is set to ultra. And I was getting two, 285, 286. Um, let me just bring up a browser here. I want to uh, capture all this stuff. Nope, that's not what I wanted. One moment, please. All right. Okay. So, you should see this um, spreadsheet. Oh, I'll move it over here. And um, so, again, G Sync is off, but why is it now capped again? Interesting. So as soon as I bring the uh, app the app on on top of the monitor, it seems to cap it at 240. All right, so I'll keep that off on my fourth monitor, and I'll keep track of it, and I'll show you a bit later what it is. But so G Sync is off. Um, I'm uncapped in in the in the graphics, and uh, I'm getting around 280. And just to show you again, graphics is not not capped, and uh, I'll just show you again that the uh, G-Sync is turned off. 
so it's off. Okay, so there you go. Let's uh, now compare it to rain and see how that goes. Uh, there we go. So I was on dry. Let's go to very heavy. My dog is barking at something. Probably somebody honking their horn somewhere. Anyway, we'll see what it is. Um, I was seeing some different results, and then after I reset a few things, I was seeing different results again, so I don't know. Uh, let's see. It was 280, and now it's 255, 258, 259. You should see it in the bottom right here. But it, it's not quite 260, but it, it bumps into it, but it's high 250, so... I went from 280s. <laughs> hey, Vincent. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, so I went from 280s to 250s. Uh, so that's with SSR, SSR off. I was uh, I'm at 250. Let me. I'm going to write this down here. And then um, dry. I know you can't see this, but this is what I'm, what I'm typing here. Um, so dry was 280. We'll call it 285, uh, 84. And then we'll call this 255. So a difference of uh, about 30 between the dry and, and the... Uh... All right, so now let's, let's go back and let's turn the... Uh, SSR, which apparently has an impact. Let's take a look. Oop. So SSR is off. Let's go to high always and see what it does. So pretty big impact. So it went from uh, 255 to 133. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a big impact. Let's call it 133. That's a huge impact. Now, I did SS, SSR high. There is an option for SSR low. Let's try that. Um, low. Let's see what that's like. So, 170. So again, this is what I've seen so far. So I said 255 when it was uh, SSR was off, 170 with SSR low, and 133 with SSR high. There is a rain only, and what this does is it only turns on SSR when it's raining. So I should get exactly the same numbers, but let's just verify that. So SSR low, let's go back to, oops, I didn't mean to click on garage, sorry about that. Let's go back to graphic, and we should go to low, rain only. And so this should be around 170, which was what the old one was. Yeah, so we're not going to see a difference because it's raining. So SSR low rain is 170. And SSR high will be... 133, I bet. We're pretty close to there. <coughs> High rain only. There we go. At 132, 133. So it does exactly as it says it does, uh, which is basically there's no difference between, because it's raining, between the, the rain only versus the other version, which is just SSR of high or low. All right, so now let's go back and uh, 
look at um, the dry and see what it does in the dry. I should have just done this all in the dry initially, I guess. All right, let's go. Uh, static weather, no, no participate, uh, <laughs> no moisture. And uh, how you doing, Vincent, by the way? Hope you're well. go um, so now we're back on the dry and uh, 270 five yeah I think I have a big update to do when I get back to Canada yeah no kidding you're still in Florida mate good for you good for you yeah it, it there's a lot of a lot of yeah it'll take a bit Good thing you've missed all the false starts, if you will, with the update. Uh, so I was at, that was rain only, which is good. So that's showing you that SSR rain only only affects the FPS when it's in the rain. Because we were getting 284 in the dry with SSR off. And we're getting, what, 276-ish. That's, I mean, a rounding error between this and this. So it's basically proving to be true. But if I turn high always, let's see what that does. You're on a wet tire. I know, I get it. I'm on a wet, wet tire. Okay, so let's call it 195. So this is SSR high. Which is interesting. I, I'm surprised that, um, well, no, that makes sense. Because we're 30 difference there. Well, we're, we're, we're a 60 difference here. So it seems to have a bigger impact when it's, um, when it's raining, the SSR. So even though I've got SSR in high, it doesn't impact the dry as much, um, is what I'm concluding. I saw a lot of shit about the rain and crash with the UI. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, all of that's very true, unfortunately. Uh, let's try the SSR low and then uh, uh, do one more thing. What am I doing? Here we go. SSR low. Option, graphic. Uh, low always. You're on a wet tire. All right, and I'm at 190. So there's no difference between the SSR low and the SSR high in the dry because it's like 193, call it. So, so the real real thing is SSR has about a hundred FPS drop on the dry, which is huge, and it's about 120 for the high and about. 80 for the low in the rain. So the real question is, so SSR has a big impact on, on, on FBS and then bigger impact in FBS when you're raining. The question is, is it worth it? Like, do you get a way better visual experience? Let's go test that. In the rain is where we're going to test that. Okay, let's do some rain. Rain, rain. Uh, we'll do very heavy because that'll give us the most visual impact. What I, what we're apparently looking for is like the reflections on the water are supposed to show more dynamic reflections based on what's around that car um and we'll see how it goes so again i've got low always let's turn it off first 
Let's start with the worst. So this is what it looks like um, with SSR off, and we're getting you know to 250 uh, frames, which is consistent with what we had before, right there. Um, let's go take a look. I mean, I'll come back to the pits, but I want to go see what this looks like. I'm on a wet tire yet. The Porsche shows it in the dash here. You're on a wet tire. I don't know if the other ones do. I need to find some puddles. I think there's a puddle up at the right up here. There should be. I don't see it. Huh. Where are the puddles? This is heavy rain, but I don't see any puddles. I know there's a puddle but most usually a puddle in the next corner coming up. There's usually one. Wow, there's no puddles. There's usually one right here at the apex. Why is there no puddles? All right, let's go see if the. Okay, wheel, you gonna do your own thing. All right. Let's see if there's puddles when I turn SSR on. This high rain only. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So, everything looks grayer. Let's take a look at this without SSR on. Just so we have that fresh in our memory. Uh, SSR off. So, remember what this looks like. And now that looks way more natural with it off. Way, way more natural. And then this is strange. Uh, options. Replay is replay. Yeah, see, replay shows it on. That's why it looks different in the replay. Um, I turn this back on. I'll do high always this time. Yeah, you, it's weird. That looks very painted up here. I don't know. I don't like that look at all. I, oh, I see what it is. It's the reflection of the walls. Okay, so that's the difference, right? So you see this dark area here. It's the reflection of the, the wall. So yeah, there's some differences. Let's go see if there's any puddles. But I mean, for 100 FPS, fuck that. <laughs> Turn. Let me know if there's anything specific you guys want me to test. I got my own things I wanted to test here, but... Again, I don't know why there's no puddles. Because every time I've tested this, there's been puddles on the exit here. There's been puddles at the apex of the next two corners. I guess it's just some some element of dynamic aspect. I don't know. Maybe the water hasn't accumulated enough. Well. I spun, but there's still no... I wanted to get a front row seat at the puddles. That's why I spun. Um, but as you can see, there's no puddles there. So I, that's shit. Maybe I'll regenerate this. Let's, let's start it again. You notice, by the way, the FPS dropped. I should have taken a look, better look at that. So here we go. 
let's do it's very heavy because that should produce the most rain yeah let's try it again so so far um we've concluded that ssr has a massive impact on um fps anywhere from 100 to 120 anywhere from sorry uh so in in this case what's that 80 80 drop there and then 120 drop there so it's quite a bit and then on dry less drop which makes sense because it's apparently mainly about reflections and it looks like shit why does it look like shit i don't like the look of this at all is there something else i've forgotten about i've got shader on ultra uh, on ultra detail this is on full res i don't know oh sharpening you could try sharpening let's try that so 130 but it's interesting how gray this looks and, and this the shadowing just doesn't look right like i don't get it it didn't look like this when I was in here before. But you can see how, like this, this shadow here is from the wall. Render dynamic track data, turn on. All right, Scotty, I'll take a look at that. Did I have that off? Graphic, I, I had it on before, but all right, I'll turn it on. And I'll turn on night shadows because that's better f performance anyway. And uh, yeah, let's try it. Let me get out of it, see if that somehow needs it's one of those things you gotta redo. Welcome to the chat, by the way. It's guys, first time you've uh, typed in to the chat, so welcome. But yeah, I, I don't really understand um why it looks so different now than it did an hour ago. I really don't know what's different. There, that looks a little better. There we go. It's still, still kind of fucked up here. I don't get it. But I, at least I'm seeing some puddles now. So, so the, what I'm like, obviously, SSR has a massive impact on the FPS, like. And then for me, and I'm, by the way, I'm on a 4080 with a 1390, 1390K. And I'm on triple 1440p. Um, so this looks like we might get some puddles now. So the question I want to answer myself, like, do I want to give up? Like, I can still race with this 120 frames. But is the visual worth it? A hundred frames. So I'm seeing a puddle here on the on the inside there. You can see it there. there it's quite shiny, like the puddles are, are very shiny and they're supposed to be more reflective of the environment around them. Are they? Yeah, like you can see kind of blue from the stands over there. And this puddle here, you can see, the reason why I stopped here is because it kind of shows reflection off of the, the fence a little bit. All right, so now, now let's try SSR off. I keep hitting garage, I'm sorry. Uh, graphic SSR off. Test. So that's SSR off. I think that looks better because you don't get that weird kind of, looks like a paint stroke effect going on up here. Yeah, maybe I'm losing some dynamic shadows. Let's see here, like I still see stuff reflecting in the, in the rain. I can still see the puddles, but I got another 100 and whatever FPS. 
I don't know, I don't think this SSR is a good idea to turn on. Like, this looks good enough to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree, Scotty. That, that's, that's my conclusion as well. In this scenario, in this, you know, one test, maybe another test. I keep hitting grunge. Maybe an, another test that it's different. Let's try high rain. Yeah, it's like this just looks like shit right up here. Right, I just try and point with my finger. You can't see where I'm pointing with my finger. I'll point with the most. Right up here, like it's very disjoint, and it's like it's just kind of got this gray kind of color all over the asphalt. You can't see the the pavement and any of the skid marks there. And uh, then when I turn it back, where is it? Graphic. Let me, let me turn the replay off. See, this is the replay. I think that just looks way better, doesn't it? Then, uh, then this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Well, I don't know. But for me, I think this is a pretty... Uh, maybe I need to try a different track. Let's, let's do that. What track do you guys want to try? Um, Sebring? Let's try Sebring. Sebring should have lots of puddles. But yeah, for 100 FPS, it's got to be like stunningly better. <laughs> it's got to be like, you know, graphics from 20 years ago versus now for 100 FPS. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to use uh, SSR. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But let's just take a look at one more track just to see if that's true. So do I have it on or off? I can't remember. Options, graphic... I've got it on. I've got SSR rain only, so it's in, it's invoked. I've got sharpening on. Dynamic track data is on. So this looks really pixelated here. Like, I don't know. Let's go take a look at the rest of the track. That could be could be more to do, like another setting that's affecting that. The anastropic or whatever it's called. I mean, take a look, take notice of the sheen of the, of the like, like you look at, look here, you can see this tree, the, 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 the shadow of the tree, you can see the shadow of the tree in this water. All right, let's go out of this. And, uh, let me get in the cockpit of the car. Do I see the same? Yeah, so I see the same thing in replay, so this is just easier to go back and forth. And then uh, replay, turn it off. Okay, that doesn't look as good in this scenario. I don't see the the shadows of the trees. They're gone. The puddles look very different. Okay, so I'm glad I tested a different track. Let's just go back to the other one for comparison. High, rain only. Yeah, see, it looks smoother. Um, I'm seeing reflections of the trees better. Uh, it looks way more natural here. Option. Replay. Let's try the uh, low rain only. Actually, that looks not bad. Um, I probably get a bit more FPS out of it. Um, it's It's kind of like everything got smudged. It's just... A little less sharp. Um, let's turn sharpening off and see if that helps. Yeah, it's even more smudged. Sharpening back on, and let's turn it off. Yeah, that doesn't look as good. I mean, you, you see definite ends of the water here. 
you don't get the reflections in the water of the trees. Um, yeah. So maybe it's a track by track thing. What do you guys think? High rain only. So high rain only, I'm getting 90, 98. And then low rain only, I'm getting 130. So the low might be a good option for the tracks that it looks better at. Um, let's go to replay. Let's check out the rest of the track. I'm going to go to low rain only, and let's just drive around the track and see what the rest of it looks like. Uh, I don't like the way the water looked at the edges here. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. But I like the reflections it's showing in the, in the like of the trees and stuff. And I'm getting, you know, a drivable amount of FPS. And again, this is the low SSR. But I, I like the reflections. <laughs> That's a lot of water. But it is blurrier. Like, like I think the high is going to give you even better visuals. Because this, this doesn't look very good here. It looks all kind of blurry. Let's go try it back with, with high. Options. Graphic. I ran only. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, this does look the best in this scenario. <laughs> you can't drive this though. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, so the water looks good here. Um, I still don't like the this pixelated thing here, but that's probably something else in my settings. And let's just do <coughs> for fun off. So now this is with SSR off, way more frames. I think it's still good enough visually. I mean, the water look, looks like you can still see where the puddles are. You don't get the natural reflections, but I mean, honestly, when you're driving, that's not really what you're going to focus on. As long as you can see them and you can tell where they are, I think I think SSR off is the way to go because you get a lot more frames and uh, the visuals are good enough. If you want to have SSR on, SSR high is going to give you the best visual, I think, but but you're going to lose 100 to 120 FPS. That's that's what I think. What do you guys think? Turn, turn, turn. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not making that corner. Oh, am I? Am I? Am I? Oh, just barely. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, painted asphalt is nuts.
Okay, so heavy range is like there's just no grip. As there shouldn't be. So, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think they all look good enough. But I think the uh, SSR off is probably what I'll just run by default. Once in a while, maybe I'll play with the... Uh, come on. All right. Anything else you guys want me to test? Any other track? Let's check another track. Um, let's do Spa. So this will start with uh, SSR off in the rain, and uh, there's no need for me to do a comparison between SSR with uh, dry versus wet because we've already established it's massively, massively different. I mean, look at these numbers here. I mean, this is wet and this is dry. so. With SSR off, there's not a big difference. It's 30 FPS. Um, so to be clear, the, the difference between rain and... and uh, so I, I misspoke there. The difference between rain and dry is not massive. Uh, the difference between SSR on and SSR off is massive. That's, that's what I conclude. And this looks like shit. I mean, look at, the, look at this rain here. Like, what is that? Right, let's compare that with SSR on. Uh, graphic to a high test. Yeah, it looks still looks like shit, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it's gotten rid of the pixelated crap, which is good. It does look smoother. When you get closer, it's more pixelated. I mean, there's no question that SSR does... In in some tracks, it seems to make it look more realistic. FPS is not as important as you perceive difference in the smoothness of the driving experience. I think with the numbers I'm seeing, that you know, if it stays above 100, that's true. But if with SSR op, if you're doing 150 frames, and then you turn it on, and you're doing 50 frames. I think that's you would notice. What do you think of that? Sober to drunk? You agree with that, or do you think it always doesn't make a difference? I think in these numbers, yeah, like because I'm a you know in the 120 range, which is perfectly fine. Even if it was 100, even even 80, but if it starts to drop down to 40 or 50, I think you got you got issues. What do you think? I agree. I agree. 100, 250 to 120, not noticeable. But, you know, imagine Daytona, start of the race, where it's hard to get 250. You're going to be more at 120. I think then the drop's going to be down to 40, and then you're going to be in jail. <laughs> that's, that's, I think, what we got to think about. Um, oop, I keep getting garage when I want to hit options. All right, graphic. Let's try the low, see what that's like. And I want to turn the sharpening off. Graphic. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's true, but there's a lot of big long races there, so it's going to be a factor. Like it's, it, they have a 24 hour race there, as you know, and there's going to be weather, so it's going to be an issue. But I think you're right. It's 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 a specific scenario. The any track that is already FPS challenging, I think SSR has to be off. That's kind of what I included today. And I'm already off. <laughs> Speaking of off. I mean, like here, it's just blurry with sharpening off and the low, um, the low SSR option. Let's turn this off again. I'm going to keep sharpening off. See if I sharpening off, see if that gets rid of some of the pixelated stuff. I think this looks good enough. I think they say in dimmer lighting the puddles are much less noticeable. This is off. Okay. I mean the lighting's pretty dim here with the overcast. I mean this is SSR off and you can certainly see the puddles, but what I'm finding is that the Visually, the depending on the track, because like when we were on Red Bull, for sure the SSR off looked way better. But at this track and Sebring, SSR on looks, I think, a bit more realistic. So it's track dependent, I think. Um, let me. One thing I, I kind of noticed earlier, was um, uh, when I turn the shading to different levels everything brightened up or darkened down let's see if i oh, keep hitting them uh graphic so alter shading if i turn that to low i think everything lightens up let's see if that's still the case here Nah, it's the same although this does look different up here but the overall lightness isn't different well, let me read that in a second there uh, graphic, uh, alter detail, make this back to high, render dynamic. Oh, that's how that got turned off when I switched to this. All right. I think they meant night races. The car lights won't reflect. Ah, hmm. Yeah, they won't. They absolutely won't. So is that a good thing? Like from a pure racing point of view? Is it better not to have the extra reflection? Because you'll still see the car lights. But you'll have less reflection. So maybe that'll clarify some viewing. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Anyway, um, I just thought it'd be fun to do some testing. So I'll probably end the stream now. But... Uh, Hopefully we all learned something. SSR, massive hit on FPS. As Sober the Drunk points out, if you're at 250, you're going to 120, it's fine. Run SSR in that situation. Um, on some tracks, although other tracks, like Red Bull Ring, the SSR looked worse. So try it out. But if you're starting the race at 150, 160 frames, then I think you need to turn SSR off. That's kind of what I think after this testing across Red Bull Ring, Sebring, and um, Spa without any other cars on the track. Um, probably need to do a similar test with AI and stuff to really see what the difference is, especially when we're talking about lights and reflections.